today I am going to show you how to use this super super pretty transparent um, vinyl fabric and as you can see I've got a felt loop of a bow in there as well and I've done a super cute knotted ribbon centre so this is the bows and this is the autumn fabric fairy that I showed in the unboxing um, yesterday and I've done them in two sizes so this is medium with the small dolly inside and this is large with the medium dolly inside and this has got large tails and this has got medium tails and I put them on these super, super cute woodland bow cards as well so that was my woodland fairy fabric and I also did some in Halloweeny ones and I did this in the wickedly cute and again large uh, dolly bow with the medium dolly bow and large tails on those two and this is the medium and the small with the medium tails on these ones so i'm just going to put these out of the way now normally i'd get my big shot out at this point and show you how to cut the material but the material is a little bit more expensive than normal it's three pound a sheet instead of my sort of standard one pound fifty to two pound twenty five and it is prone to slipping a little bit so instead I'm going to show you a little trick which is what I do is on all my dies what I do is I run a piece of card through the machine and get the sizes for all of my bows so obviously this is my large medium and small dolly and then with my materials I make sure I've got a piece that goes the right way and I work out how much I need to cut and only cut as you can see here, I only cut that area, which was enough to get the big dolly. And then with the tails, I put the tails the right way and cut a piece that was perfect for the large tail here. And with the fabric, again, I took the medium piece and cut enough round that I was able to get the medium loop cut from there and then ran it through. And I'll show you. And this is a tip I learned from my sister. She makes a lot more glitter bows than I do. This is a the dolly bow, the, the felt better dolly bow quad. So you get the large, medium, small, and all the tails on one. But like I said, it's the extender, extended one. So you need the extender plates. The plate that I use the most is a little bit bowed. So my sister said when you put them through, if it is slightly bowed always do it so the bow's up not against the fabric and it'll sort of stop it slipping a little bit but like I said you have to be very careful with this material and like I said make sure that you've done it judged it properly and given it a little bit of space in case it slips a little bit and like I said take your time putting it through don't like force it or shift your plates when you when you're putting it through because I very sadly I do I have managed them to save them and if I unless it was another bow maker I will show you here on this one I cut one of my tails the tabs a little short so I cut both sides down and again that won't do be that noticeable and on this one I cut the edge of the loops off that slipped a little bit so I missed like the edges here so I just folded it in half and curved them the both sides so they're not it's not a perfect shape but if it was anyone other than another bow maker like I said if it was a customer they wouldn't necessarily notice that we would know it no but like i said it's something so you can fix it sometimes but like i said just be really careful because like it's a little bit more expensive and i had the same thing happen to my tail and again i folded it in half and just sort of cut them so that they both match because like i said i loathe to waste material especially when i've spent so much money on it so like i said take your time and don't rush it like i said cut yourself some little templates and only cut the amount of fabric that you actually need and try not to waste waste anything like I almost did because like I said when it's that little bit more more money it's just extra heartbreaking if something goes wrong when it goes through the big shot so we're going to make up the big version today just gonna move the plates and everything out of the way and this is how I place them on the template just so you can see so that was my tails I'm just going to take that out. So there's the large tails. There's my large loop. And here's my felt, black felt centre. Just move 
all of these little bits out of the way and don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you do ever get stuck up with any bow making stuff or you need any help with anything i also have a facebook group and i am always about because i am mad about bows and i talk about them non-stop and giving tips and everything and advice on all sorts of topics on a regular basis so like i said there's always stuff to talk about and see and other people to interact with other than just me as well so there we go so how we've got our loops and what i do is i actually thread through these because the transparent ones do not do as well being glued together as some other materials so this is a little trick that i do and i'm also going to line my clip with ribbon because again because the back loop is transparent we're going to use the ribbon to sort of give it a little bit more grip to the glue so that there's no issues and it holds nicely okay so this is my extra strength gutman thread and i use a sharp darning needle now when it comes to this just so it goes through the transparent vinyl easier what i do is I take my lighter and in the clear blue bit of the flame we just heat that a little work out the exact center of this bit and it goes straight through like this we want it so that this this is the front of your vinyl this is the back so we're going to put our felt loop in here and again we want it right on the center of this middle piece so here Okay, so I'll make sure my loops are in the right place and that they're right against the edges here and here. Take your tabs of your felt loop on thread it over. And then thread that side. And then what I do is retake the lighter. Heat it up a little bit again. Line up the tab. A little bit more heat. Line up the tab of that side. There you go. And then the very last step is work out which way round your print is so the print's this way so we need our tails to be this way up not this way up so make sure your tails are the right way round and again last little bit of heat on your needle and right through the center of there so you've got everything together transparent felt transparent tabs over tail and you could do a different color you could do a glitter tail like i did on these purple ones the wickedly cute so like i said you could do this and you could just do a transparent layer this works just for transparent so like i said i just like the color contrast of having the black the purple or like i said that that coppery brown tone in the middle and then i just take my thread and i'm going to wrap this around a good couple of times so it's nice and secure and it's not going to shift on us and then i stitch this off in the back by threading it through the wrap oh. I'll just knot it off just a couple of times just to make sure it's nice and secure and once you're happy it's nice and tight and it's not going to shift and cut that off. thread and move that out of the way And there we go that's the almost done with our bow so we're just going to line our clip so it sit, sticks nicely to this transparent bit at the back and i've got this like shimmery 
black black and gold nine millimeter and this is from crafty koala um hattie is currently on maternity leave she's just had her little baby so she will be back shortly but like i said they're, they're currently closed but they'll be back open before christmas and halloween and all of those so look out for them that's where this one is from so we want to put a touch of glue there on the back and this is the back of your clip as you can see so put the ribbon here and i hold that down with my thumb and i'm going to put a touch of glue here and here on either side and i'm going to take one of my extra pair of hand clips and what i do little dot there little dot the other side take the clip Make sure it goes all the way into the B of the clip. And then I use this to press the ribbon against the glue in the dips of that. Bit there, and then I put my thumb in here. And then I'm going to glue along. Okay, and then pull this tight across your clip and then rub your finger over the top. This will stop your um, glue gun glue bulking up over the top of the alligator clip. So you see that's nice and flat. There's no bumps of glue underneath there. Just going to get those edges there. Put that little bit extra you just want like about a centimetre over the clip heat seal that and then we're going to put a touch of glue here and then that folds over the top of our clip and we've got a nicely lined alligator clip I'm just going to take that excess off because I don't want any any messiness on our bow and now we can glue this to the back here and you just want a spot of glue across our ribbon. And on this one I am using a 60mm clip instead of a 45 because obviously it fits nicer against these bigger bows and it sort of helps the loops sort of keep their shape as well. Press that down a little bit so it's nice and firm against the transparent fabric. And then we're going to rep a centre and then we will do the knot. So we're going to heat seal our middle as normal. Spot of glue here. Open our clip right on the centre. We're going to wrap round. And I like to do this twice. Again, it's just for making sure that the layers all stay together nicely and don't pull apart. extra off the heat seal there a little bit of glue open that up there we go if you wanted to you could leave it there if you want to do the little knot like i did on on mine what you do is take a little piece like this you don't need very much this is about 10 centimeters Sorry, about 14 centimetres. Not a very good judge of uh, what we do is we curve a loop round like this. So you've got like this shape and take that up. And twist. I'll just show you again. So do it so you've got the loop over. Bring this up through the loop so you've got this and then twist that under like this and so you've got a flat back and the pointed knot and then what I do is work out where you want that knot to go and you want it right over the centre so we're going to glue that knot there so it glues against the other piece of ribbon that's already on the middle take that 
put that exactly where you want it on the bow we don't need all this bit but like i said it's just to make time the knot easier so i'm going to cut those two extra bits off heat seal our ends and then we're just going to glue them in one side at a time one side other side and there we have it a super cute transparent bow with our colour pop center like i said felt's not as expensive as some materials so it's a way of keeping down the cost of these bows as well and like i said the lining the clip just gives it like I said, a little bit more security as you can see that's nicely glued to the material obviously rather than just having relying on the center to hold it in place and like i said the glue to the transparent doesn't always hold as well as it should do um depending on what type of glue you're using so like i said do you think about lining it if you can like i said again ribbon is not that expensive especially the nine millimeter it's normally sort of anywhere between 9p to sort of 15p a meter and the, the meters go quite a long way so like i said if you want if you're going to use a lot of this i would recommend investing in some 9 millimeter of them so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all soon and hopefully you enjoyed that bye